Hello, this is Mike Evans. I want to talk to you Jerusalem prayer team members. I'm here in Jerusalem at the Friends of Zion Heritage Center campus with two very, very special people um, that I want to, you, to be introduced to and I want you to understand the significance of who they are and what they're doing. By the way, I'm, when I leave in 48 hours, I'm going to the Ukraine and there's someone else going to the Ukraine. Who else is going to the Ukraine? Yeah. I will go. I will be in Ukraine, I hope so, in a few days. We came. Tell them we we just came from Ukraine. I'm the chief rabbi of Kiev. And uh, we are there to the Jewish people, to help the Jewish people to know about God. And we are trying to teach them. We are trying to help them. We are trying not to cheat, not just to teach them about something, something at all. We are trying and we are helping them to live and to be, uh, to know that we are, we love them and God love them. Tell me about the, you just left Kiev. Can you tell our Jerusalem prayer team members what is going on right now in Kiev and, and even with your community, what's going on right now? Hello, my name is Ina Markovich, my husband Rabbi Jonathan Markovich, the Rabbi of Kiev. We had a flourishing community for 21 years and it's all vanished, ended in one day, a week ago. We're trying now to um, be in touch with the people who left, they're calling us endlessly because we all left very abruptly and there's still people, Jewish people living in the JCC, in our Chabad house in Kiev. We supply them with uh, food, medications, and armed guard. And even heating. Yes, and even heating because it's very cold now. The situation there is very frightening uh, because uh, there is a chaos and people fled wherever they could with the clothes that they were wearing. And actually, if we just spoke a week ago, me and my husband were sure that we're gonna stay there until the good ending. Yeah. But last Shabbat, um, a representative, a high representative of a special service of Ukraine came to my husband and told him Rabbi, we respect you very much, and the whole city benefits from you being here because my husband always gives messages of faith mm. and encouragement, and he encourages the people to add in acts of goodness and kindness, whatever faith you're in. So uh, the representative said, we're very uh, encouraged by you being with us, but since we have information that the war is going to change course and it was impersonal before so the, the russians weren't targeting citizens but now we have information that um, maybe chechny warriors will enter kiev and they're known to be very cruel and anti-semitic so you want to protect your community by staying with them, but actually your presence now is putting a target on their back. Mm. So we were um, rescued with a group of some other Jews who could leave out of the Ukraine in a miraculous way. They just took us like, like we call them an angels. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, they, they took us we uh, were not allowed to take any luggage. Yeah. So I ran home, just took some documents, and this is all what we had. <laughs> and That's so the mean. other people, we just fled with whatever we had until we came safely to this blessed land and we meet with such a blessed person as you. You know what? Uh, these are, this is family, we call it Mishbuka. Yeah. <laughs> We've been helping their precious work, and I want to encourage all you Jerusalem prayer team members to support this work. It's very important. There's, a, what, 200,000 Jews in Ukraine around that? 500,000. 500,000. Half a million Jews. 
and the vast majority of them are still there. They're still there. And some of them have no electricity, no water. It's a very, very terrible situation. Uh, I'm seeing you're getting the orphans out. Uh, you came even with, or with the children. Yeah. There were children that, that arrived with you. So we all need to get behind this and support this wonderful work. It's very important. And thank you so much for your supporting of this precious work. And, and listen, we can give it through the rabbi and he can make sure it goes to the right sources. So you don't have to send it anywhere else. I trust him. He's a man of integrity. God bless you.